Hi friends, my name is Anupriya. Welcome to English class. In this session, we are going to discuss that how can we exactly improve our vocabulary. This subject seems very dry, very difficult, and something like, oh my god, exactly how we can do it. Because if I take an example, a face cannot be called a face if there's, you know, uh, you don't see or identify eyes, nose, ears, lips, something like that. Similarly, if you call a sentence, exactly a sentence, so that is a group of so many words in it. And these words in a different form or in a difficult form are called vocabulary in English. So improving that is a very important thing for us to speak good English. So in this segment, I'm here to present you a few tips that will help you to improve that area. First thing which I have written here, what is that? That is, organize everything what you have. So, organize what? That I am going to explain you. You are very brilliant, very intelligent and very smart. How? Because I want to make you remind or I want to let you know that you have a lot of English words in your mind. You don't speak everything in your native language. And that's what you need to exactly refine. You need to make a difference between both of the segments. For that, you have to take a pen and a paper and write down each word, every word that you know. You may know word pen, paper, roof, terrace, glass, spoon, everything you know in English because that is not your native language. So when we say about organizing everything you know, every word of the English you know, just keep it on one place and read it. Where the end point comes, where you just stop writing, where you feel like, no, I don't know more than this, that is the beginning point of your learning new words. So it is very important or the first step of improving this segment that you need to know that where do you exactly end or how many words are there in your mind? So you will be very much clear with it that what more I need to learn. So first thing or first step is to be followed is much important. Now, don't recite your dictionary is the second point. This is something that you are doing as a blunder. If you feel like all English words come at one place and that is known as an English dictionary and you are going to recite or make it by heart and you will be expert in that area. No, that is a, such a bad deal because it is such a boring and dry topic and going a far extent you will find yourself standing at the same place from where you began. Why? Because that pattern is really wrong. If you really want to pick the words from the dictionary and want to buy hard that, the best way I would suggest you make the cue card. I know it is also kind of hectic. But just because you are interested in that area, so I am suggesting you to make a cue card, write the words with their meanings and then it will be the more useful using a dictionary. Reciting a dictionary, it means you are forcing yourself to learn more English words. And I tell you, when you force yourself, that's exactly not going to help you out to make yourself successful for this. It should be very much natural because forcing means that something really have to do it. So remove this have to and don't recite your dictionary. Next thing is learn by doing. Three words in this sentence. But as it seems very small, it is very important and the large one in its explanation. How? I will tell you. Friends, if you buy something from the market, you pay some money, you bring that thing at your home and what do you do exactly? Do you throw it somewhere else or do you keep it aside and never uh, pick it up and use it? No, just because you have paid money for that particular stuff, what you do, you make a perfect use of that particular thing. So, in the same way, we pay our time and buy words after paying the time. So if we do not use those words, it is actually based off buying that time. And time is actually a money if you learn. So using the words when you learn is very important because I tell you, body is faster than brain. Definitely, when you remember a word or when you try to recite a word or by heart a word, that is collected somewhere in your brain. But if you body is practicing it, something, any kind of word, similarly, if you're practicing that particular word by putting it in a sentence or writing it somewhere, 
you are going to help yourself in better way to remember that word forever or more long. So just consider that you are paying your time and that is more important that money buying a word. So after you buy a word, use it, speak it and then it's going to be more stronger in your word list. Next is learn words with multiple meanings. You know, this section is actually very interesting and very useful for improving your vocab. How? There are lots of words in our English that have different meanings and words will be said. So if you learn a single word, you are going to cover a lot of areas by putting the word in a sentence. Suppose if I pick a word, what comes in my mind first? Run. I am not trying this time, but I'm just picking the word run. So, uh, take an example, run fast or if you are in the run, so you have to work hard. That's a kind of phrase that if you are in the race of your life, you really have to work harder to achieve success. So, in this way, we have seen that we are using run in two forms. Uh, we can take an example that I'm running my own business. So, word run has been used at three places in different sentences. I have learned one word run in three ways. So that helped me to improve my vocab in different ways. Or if I put a word, very easy word, any word guess, that is a date. Very common word. So what is the date today? You will say the date. Or if I say, she is my date. Any girl you like and you are taking that girl out. So that is called the date. So that girl is my date or we are going on a date. Or I can say, she likes to eat fruit date. Date is a kind of fruit also. So here also I have seen or we can see that we have learned a word date with its different meanings. This way we are using it. Or you can say engage. I got engaged with someone day before yesterday. Not really but this is a way we can use word engage. Right? Or she is engaged with a particular word so that so she cannot come for the function. So engage has been used at two places with different meanings. So in this way, using same word with multiple meanings. For this section, you can watch the other videos of mine which I have already thrown. And you can find the one word with the multiple meanings that will also help you to improve your vocab. So that section is very, very helpful for you if you really want it. Next one is make your vocab more practical. What does it mean? Now, here comes this thing that if you are reciting the dictionary of you, you are picking any word from anywhere and writing it somewhere, just finding out the meaning and keeping it in your hand and you are happy that, oh my god, I have learned a new word today. That's completely okay. But write form of learning the words that make your vocab more practical. Suppose if you are spending your time more at your office at a professional place. Or you are spending your time mostly with your friends or at your house. So what are the areas in your life you are covering very much, right? Regarding your profession or your house or your relations. That is going to be more practical to make yourself learn English more. Try to cover that area or try to discover the words related to that area to improve this section. That is the way that you are making your vocab more practical and definitely just because that is a part of your interest also, so you may add more words in your kitty. Last one is, make your learning fun. I said it, you heard it and now we'll ask that how. So, when we say, make your learning fun, anything that we do with a fun mood in our life, that we learn really fast. Why? Because when we make something stressful, hectic, that is going to be in vain. You are not going to learn. This is very essential that making something fun, if you are going to learn that, is helping me a lot to learn that thing. So I will give examples also. Don't worry that I have praised you and you accept it. Now, if we take any word that is going to be in my kitty, I have seen that word in the newspaper every morning. So what was that word? No, I didn't, but I am giving an example that suppose if you are watch any word anywhere. The word is sabbatical. So sabbatical spelling that is S A W B A T I C A L. So this word means 
a big gap in your professional life. You are doing a job, you are taking a leap and then you are again going to join that particular one. So sabbatical is kind of leap. But you don't remember this word, right? So just make it fun to remember this word, to keep it in your memory and break it in your native language or in English language also, whatever you feel comfortable. So suppose if I speak Hindi, so how I'll make it break, I'll make it sab bate kal, right? So I have breaking it in three forms, sab bate kal. So it has become, if I will remind next time, oh my god, what was the word I have seen in the newspaper and that was meant to leave and I need to use it in my speech. So the word is sabbatical because the context which I associated in my native language with this word was sabbatical. So in this way, I have learned sabbatical. Take one more very quickly. What the next word can be disgusting? It just occurred in my mind. I didn't plan it. So disgusting. That is B I S T U S T I N G. Disgusting. That means that you really hate something. So you need to learn this word also. If I break this word, this is my way which I'm telling you. This gusting. This guest is king. So when I have made a sentence in English, this guest is king. Now next time when I need to deliver this word, when I'm not liking someone, so that word comes disgusting. Disgusting, I associated this word with a sentence in English. This guest is king. So this is how we have learned a new word. One more word, anything very quickly, poverty. Now poverty, poverty is a kind of word which means that somebody or a lot of people or group of the people are not having money or place to live, they are very poor. So for them, those kind of people we use poverty. So poverty, powerful, we will pick power from the full, powerful and tea that we usually drink. So power, tea, we will combine the words and it will become poverty and it will be having a different meaning. So this way I just have taught you a trick. I'm not telling you that you apply it strictly. Just explain to you this segment that how you can make your learning fun when you are exactly learning the words. Because this is such a dry subject. You need to push yourself. I'm telling you again and again. Just give it to me one, right? So this way you can improve your vocabulary more faster and improve it. So I hope my tips are going to help you and definitely it will motivate you to speedily work in this segment. That's all for this session. Bye.